meaning they they have two chronos, uh, two mesmers, uh, replacing guardians essentially. Mm -hmm. So it's two Ellie's, two Mesmers with four Guardians, four Warriors with only two Necros, and then you have that one Thief or the Stealth. Mm. Is this the same on the other side? For the so other side, it is. Yeah, it is. It's actually it's actually a one-two-one one with the leader only having one Guardian with the Mesmer, uh, mm -hmm. but then with four Necros, two Mesmers, four Warriors, and then the Thief and Stealth. Yeah. So a no very, Ellie's. very no Ellie's. Very similar. No, we have different teams. So both stealth coming both sides. First round begins, ladies and gentlemen. Stealth coming down from both sides. See nobody getting revealed yet. Chillfield was there to attempt to uh, find some players to get into combat. Veil goes down. So Royce boys gets a really, really good opening right now on Team Hercules. No, does this oh, one yeah, person gets completely well. taken down? And I think that's going to be a full dead. That's a full dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The necromancer gets completely deleted from Team Hercules. One person down, however, from Royce Boys. A necromancer as well. He gets banished, and, and it's shot. going to be finished. Ah, Cran yeah, doing a blink well. stomp. A very, very good job. Both teams have now lost one necromancer. So let's see who's going to get the advantage. Royce Boys now are pushing hard. And uh, Team Hercules is spread around left and right. One guardian goes Two down. down. However, he gets resurrected. Big one, yeah, Necromancer goes one down. These. They are going to lose a player here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. CH loses a player. Yep, Necromancer. And now a Thief has been taken into the downstate and gets completely deleted. Mesmer also in the downstate. He gets banished left and left side yeah, and he's going to be Herco finished. Down. Herco down. Yep, Herco gets rallied, however. But TH is now under a lot, a lot of pressure. Most likely going to be... This round is most likely going to be going to the way of Royce Boys. Two, uh, three so people, so. four down yeah, that's it. from that's Team Hercules. It. There's no way to come back from this, I would say. And kills gets finished. Team this with the first pick. Yeah. Team it's all about momentum. Team. You get the first pick. When the uh, enemy team tries to, tries to rest, you get the uh, good Necrobomb out of that. And then push through with it. So Royce Boys take the first round. Pretty convincingly, I would say. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that. They, you know, TH may have uh, big bomberinos on their team, but I think Roy's bomberinos were bigger. Mm -hmm. It looks so like Obindo really carrying, almost doubling some of the DPSs. Mm, from our Warriors, but Roy, that is impressive. Now I'm seeing it firsthand for the first time. Yeah, the DPS coming out from Roy's build is. Pretty significant. We are permanently incombatable. Do you think you could leave the arena and come back? Possibly. Right. Because yes, because we are in combat and my DPS meter doesn't reset. So can you drop down, I'll exit, do yeah. drop down, exit the arena, and then come back? Thank you. And we can't get into combat. It was my fault, basically, for um, putting us into combat with the mount skill. But now the uh, DPS meter resets and we can see the colors again. Just oh, don't use the mount one. To the edge. Don't don't use the mount one. Oh, okay. Oh, too too high. How long mm. for the time? I'll just stay out if it's close. No no no, you can you can come in. Don't worry. So you can target people. There we go. Nice. All right. 49 and 30 is the next timer, so in one minute. And this is the finals, yes, Byron. This is the finals. This is the grand final of the oh tournament. Oh, yeah. Roy, Roy's boys are leading 1-0 to zero versus Team Hercules in a convincing first round. Roy's boys took it. <laughs> Roy versus Roy feels bad, man. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see. So 50 seconds left for the next round. The teams are flaming each other. Yeah, that's it. good. That is actually good. So, <sighs> you know, saying the only way they can win it is by precasting. Mm -hmm. Hercules team is running larger symbols. Wait. No shout trait, no... Uh, oh, I see. They, they seem to dislike winning. Now, that <laughs> is an interesting choice, I have to say. That is the larger symbol, right? Yeah, no, uh, wait, no. Normal. Like normal no symbols, it's man. normal symbols, right. man. Yeah. All right, fifteen seconds left. Would have been crazy. 
soon we begin the second round of the grand finals yeah let's see in powers from both board sides for Roy's boys let's see if Herco can equalize it Here now, comes the stealth. yeah clearly the Royce boys stealth earlier so this is an opportunity for team Hercules to get an opening why would you attack me that makes no sense, and now you get one punished for it. Two instantly down. Yeah, but what two. Is going on here? That's a perfect opening for Team Hercules, but wow. they've somehow lose two players in it. Both players wow. are down. Two necromancers down. That's a really, really big loss. Team Hercules Herco team has. Is on farm. That's it. I yeah. think already four people are going to be full dead here. That's. That's bad. All the damage essentially from Team Hercules is now gone. Since yep. the necromancers fall. Even more people falling, and that's going to be a very quick 0-2. This, this is 0-5. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no way for Team Hercules essentially to come back from this. You lost all your damage players, and now Roy can just push in and not be afraid of the damage. How did that happen? They had perfect stealth engage, and they just completely yeah. lose two players. They one shot an Ellie. instantly got blown up. They got completely one shot. Both of the Necromancers just one push. What? Man, well, so Team Hercules needs uh, to... Uh, some target call on those. Yeah, Team Hercules needs to step up the game box. really oh. badly. Huge. Huge damage. And Roy's boys. Roy's boys. Looking very strong here. The shield mace skin being used at the start of the round. It's focus, not uh, mace. Twitch chat. Alright, so boss finish it. So you can boss the stealth. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, uh, TH need to do something now. Yep. They really need to do something because right now th this is not going in their favor. They're getting absolutely stomped right now, to be quite frank. Mm -hmm. One DC. Uh, one DC from the side of Royce boys. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait for that, of course. Mm -hmm. This is a warrior they don't want to lose. They'll Definitely, no, 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 no. You need to have four warriors in this. If you want to aim for the win, you need to have four warriors. Raptors won the whole tournament. Somebody needs to link me that clip. Again, I I saw it being clipped, but I need to see it again. There it is. Let me take a look at this clip. Best EU opener. Oh, this is <laughs> this is glorious. It is. That is quality content right there. Mm-hmm. That's big content. What is this? Oh my god. That's actually amazing. I gotta say. Like, oh, we have lost a player from TH. Oh, no. Yeah, he's restarting the game. Okay, well, that's not that bad then. So he's on he's DC'd, but he's, uh, he's just restarting. Remember, this, this is certainly getting into the situation where it is uh, very uncomfortable for TH. Like, 2 0? I think that's mm -hmm. fine. You know, that, that's not too daunting, but 3 0, now that is daunting, right? Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. that, that's when the kind of the mental effects of that are going to start kicking in right? now, that's not you don't want to be in that situation you don't want to be down three games yeah and the Two biggest games is okay yeah and but the not, biggest not problem games. here is that they essentially they go to zero very convincingly that's what mm. that's what's going to get to them is that the, these these rounds were very very convincing and Roy's boys had clear advantage here, even though when TH had a perfect stealth opening and they one shot an elementalist, two of the necromancers go one pushed instantly. They uh, they seem to swap their guardian. Uh, one of their guardians got benched, mm -hmm. and they had their uh, backup guardian now. Taking yeah, on Team Herco, so they're yeah. doing some changes. The necromancer is back in the game. He's currently re-entering the. Uh, <clears throat> the map. 
And this is what happens to you, ladies and gentlemen, when you lose a round, when you get under pressure. Retaliation becomes the number one source of DPS yes. for these warriors. And that's not where they want to be. That's not the situation you want to be in. Definitely not. Uh, it is, you know, at the end of the day, in fights like this, it, it often does kind of go into that arm wrestle situation, right? Whereas one team has the advantage, it's just a matter of time, right? Like, if it, you slowly get ground out, you don't play aggressive, like you're playing very passive, not pressuring the enemy, enemies starting to go crazy with insane DPS, just doing whatever the hell they want, and that's how you, yeah, it just spirals out of control eventually. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> If a DPS player has a retaliation as their number one DPS source, you know something went wrong. It's usually the case with Guardians and maybe Mesmers, etc. But having retaliation number one when you're playing DPS class, such as Core Warrior or Necromancer, that's, that's problematic. You know something's going wrong. Ah, Roy boys are changing up their composition mm -hmm. because of the necessity. Because of the DC. Ah, yeah. that yeah, is really the unfortunate. They're changing composition and their party setup. Mm -hmm. Who are they moving which in? Which is weird. Why would they change uh, the party setup when they are winning? Well, then they have to. Or is it just They're a blast? Really it's just a blast. We'll see. Right. Waiting for the new timer. Both teams seem to be running out of fight. We just need a timer confirmed for these guys. 42 gets caught. And 42 gets confirmed. So, third round begins in 40 seconds. Retailing kill toll is balanced, that's why Aiden doesn't change it. Well, obviously. <coughs> right, in 30 seconds. Okay, Team TH trying to hype themselves up, generate mm -hmm. some energy. Yeah. Rooting is happening in the chat, 8 seconds, yes, 5 seconds. Eat ass and drink apple juice. A lot of apple <sighs> Fantastic. juice. Fantastic. Alright, stealth going both sides, pretty even stealth timing. These guys should have similar stealth. Chillfield goes down, trying to find him. Really bad placement. Teams usually circle around on the sides. Yeah, it just appeared. Yeah, both teams are now going to clash. Uh, Royce boys oh, get a better opening, and this is going to be really problematic for TH. Yeah, they're all spread out. I think this is not looking good here. However, they do. They they do energy. sustain pretty well. Yeah, yeah they they high surviving. HP mm, definitely. Yeah. Necromancer is now really really trained. One right, two down. Three, three people down. down. Oh, banner though. Banner Inst insta rest, insta rest, and then three and people down close. from the oh, side of Royce boys. This is a big big fucking kill. moment. Yeah, for TH. Yeah, they they do that. Is that a third kill for TH? Mm -hmm. I think so, but they oh, they're, they're wow, losing huge. players now. They're losing players. Hercules in the down state. I think he overextended on those oh, kills. He's gonna die! Oh no! Wow, it looks so promising there. I think they can still still come back if they just focus. Yeah. And just but not not split up. Bobindo down. Bobindo's down. Yeah, two more people down. They, well, Bindo's going to rally these two players, but Nurex is going to fall into the downstate. There's no way for an extra man to survive this. A Guardian falls into the downstate. He's going to be stomped. Is he going to get it? Yeah, Guardian is stomped, and Nurex oh, actually he's resurrects. Close. He's sustained. He has full close. death route. He can sustain for a little bit, but he's still going to be under pres Roy's under a lot of pressure. Roy's Nurex still alive, though, and I think Roy's boys are going for the win here. Yeah. They did I a good... They tried to get, get a good comeback here. But I think... I think Herco, yeah, I Herco pushing in, like, if you look at where Herco dies, right, he dies next to a Guardian, and most of his DPS players and, like, his Mesmers were on the right side towards the green entrance, right? They split up, and when Herco died to go, f tried to go for a one down state, the other players went for another one. That's a miscommunication from their part. You need to go for the one target, and then leave your thief or warrior to finish the other one. If you split from your raid leader, your raid leader is going to be punished really hard, and that's what happened here. Like, they had three more, four, five people down, and still Herco goes down and then rallies them all. Yeah. It's that yeah, rough. This team uh, manages to uh, heal up with the Elise every time, while the uh, Herco team doesn't have the sustain. Yeah. Don't have the same sustain. 
Uh, this is not look. I mean, this is turning into a bit of an anticlimax here. This could be in a very, it's very precarious. This is looking like it's going to be a clean sweep, unfortunately. Although, certainly a lot closer, and the timer is confirmed, we'll be going shortly. Mm -hmm. 37 minutes and 30 seconds, so... One and a half minutes. We go to the next round. The fourth round of the GVG. Let's see if uh, TH can pull it up. They, they, this round seemed a lot more promising. So they're definitely doing something right now. They just need to push it just that little bit further to be able to contest the Royce boys. This is a core only tournament, by the way. Yes. This is a core only tournament. And draft tournament as well. <coughs> Right. Oh, he's standing up shortly. One minute left. Let's see if Royce Boys can keep their momentum. That's also really, really, uh, it's a big, big uh, question about uh, attitude for TH. When you see your raid leader die, when uh, your DPS is wandering off elsewhere, trying to hunt for kills and greeting themselves, that's a uh, Big, big thing for morale for the team. Yeah. I'm sure Herko is not happy about that. Uh, I think they just need to take a step back, foot mm -hmm. off the gas, and they can get this done, you know? Yeah. So, 15 seconds, and we begin the fourth round of the Grand Finals. Can you scroll down to show fourth party? There's no fourth party. It's 15v15. These are all the players. So stealth comes stealth. from both sides. Herco maybe got it a bit better. Yeah, they, I think they got a bit better stealth there, and uh, pretty good placement for them. They are not going to get revealed here. Let's see if they get the engage. We all go stun. Oh, right behind. They are. They're going to get the choice of the engage. How are they going to do it? Royce boys get a better engage though. They engage earlier. Yeah. This is a good chance for counter bomb. However, the, yeah, the, the Necromancer is completely captured here. He's. Pressured really hard. Nefros and two people oh, higher door. From TH already. It's the it's the, it's the single player the fall. One person dies. One person now down for Royce boys. A necromancer. Let's see. He's gonna he's gonna get up. He gets up. Another person dies. However, a guardian. That would be a really really important pickup. But no banish comes out. You need to banish those skills. Otherwise, they get resurrected. We've seen this multiple times already. And TH is so low, they don't have the sustain at all. And the leader is down, Herko down, Guardian's down, everyone dying left and right. Herko TH gets banished. Falling apart here, I'm afraid, is, uh, is what's happening. And teams, Roy's boys, smashing. They're still fighting, but to no avail. So Did yeah, anybody I mean, from Roy's boys die that round? Four. Did anybody from Roy's boys die that round? No. No, I think it was a flawless run. Oh, that's, that's I, heavy. I'm sorry, guys. This is looking like Omega LOL colon 5. I mean, I, I, this is not looking good. It's actually a staff elementary, so no, I assume. Camping water at tournament, like a boss. <laughs> Big deal. Why, why is it with no. you and their staff elements? Listen. They mm -hmm. are carrying. <clears throat> 5 Omega LOL here. Yeah. Yeah. Let me copy paste that. That's a good meme. I mean, you know, you know, I mean, I, unfortunately, Herco, he's not immune from this. At the end of the day, he is vulnerable. He has an O in his name. Mm hmm. Is it time for French Mafia to step in? Win trading, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, it already worked is, in PvP. It's almost impossible to come back from a situation like this. It's just not going to happen. Oh, yeah. Roy is playing with three warriors still. He has the option to uh, get the fourth. But it's yeah. working, so... Yeah, they have enough damage. Agent. Essentially, Roy's boys is a lot more, like, stacked up together, so they can instantly rest. They However, on TH... Yeah. TH side, you have people just splitting left and right. No compact at all, and when you die somewhere far away from your raid leader, he won't be able to resurrect you in time, especially when Roy's boys just banishes every kill. Five zero clap. It's AMP all over again. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, this is where they can't. Yeah, this is uh, where they need to start bringing the. Uh, they start. They need, they need to start bringing some com focus here. I think that might be. That might be the only way they're gonna win this. Mm-hmm. As I am not feeling the confidence. Obviously, I did have confidence in the snail protector, but that is. It is kind of gone. I have to say, I, I'm not. I think the snail is getting crushed. The snail is getting picked up by a bird, dropped, and have its shell smashed, and then the juicy insides, the soft, meaty insides of the snail, are being devoured by Roy, live on stream. Mm -hmm. Timer has been confirmed. 33.00 is the timer, so one minute. We shall start the potentially last round, the fifth round. Is it going to be a 5-0 sweep? It's 5-0. Oh, will... You think so? It's 5 0. I have faith in Team Hercules. I'm sure they can take at least one round. If not. H, in my opinion, is on farm at this point. If I, don't even see, I don't even see players anymore. I just see loot bags. If they do lose 5 0, I am going to flame hybrid. You know I'm going to. It's going to be glorious, and I'm never going to let this go. <coughs> Alright. 25 seconds. Alright. This is a uh, this is a uh, stressful moment for Team Hercules. Roy's boys must feel confident right now. All right, let's see. So, stealth on both sides. Hercules team gets a better stealth. Yeah, but that that hasn't helped them. They need no, it they hasn't. They need to get this engaged. They need they to get a good engage. They here. need to get her engaged and not lose players right oh, there and then. Revealed. Yeah, somehow they failed oh, the stealth blasting. No. And necromancer oh, got really. pulled. This necromancer yeah. is definitely going to be targeted. Nefarious Shin is definitely going to be the target. He's he's immobed well, for right. forever. Rice team very yeah. healthy. Oh, mm -hmm. one necro solo. Nefarious is yeah, he, he, yeah, he goes is down. He gonna get is he going to get two down for TH already? Nefarious gets up. Oh, but two more necromancers are down, oh, and Herko is down. is down. Boys is controlling the thief in the middle. This is just a disaster. Oh, no. All three of them are going to die. Herko is most likely going to die as well. over. 5 0. Roy's boys. Absolutely. Free farms, TH. And GG gets called, wow. ladies and gentlemen. What? <laughs> uh, uh, wha that's GG easy. That is GG easy. Simple as that. Well then. That, uh, yeah, I think mentally they're just broken. Mentally shattered into a million pieces. Well, Team Hercules fought well up until finals. Ooh, Something went it? wrong. Don't know like what this it is. is gonna sting. Like, this is horrific for this team. Like having to bow now after getting fucking destroyed. Oh my god. Oh dear. 